All right, so the Jacksonville Jaguars have just finished up day one of training camp. We got to talk about the biggest takeaway from their day one training camp practice. What happened? What went down? And before we dive into it, if you are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. We upload NFL videos and college football videos daily. And we're going to be having training camp coverage for all 32 NFL teams along with preseason coverage as well. So make sure that you guys are subscribed and that you turn on post notifications so you don't miss when we upload a new video. Also, make sure that you guys like the video and share the video as well. Now, the biggest takeaway... From the day one training camp session for the Jacksonville Jaguars was how well all of the quarterbacks performed. Gardner Minshew performed well, Trevor Lawrence performed well, and even C.J. Beathard had a really nice day. Now, both Gardner Minshew and Trevor Lawrence split first team reps. A lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people are trying to figure out why Trevor Lawrence is splitting First team reps with Gardner Minshew. He was drafted number one overall. Shouldn't he be getting the majority of the first team reps? And the reason for this, I believe, is because Urban Meyer wants there to be a sense of competition. Because everybody performs better when they're in competition with one another. It's just human nature. And if he just would have came out and gave Trevor Lawrence the keys and said, you know what, Trevor, you're our starter, then... Trevor Lawrence probably wouldn't have performed as well as he would perform if he was in a competition. So competition brings the best out of everybody throughout the remainder of the training camp period and preseason. We should start to see Trevor Lawrence get more of the first team reps. And on top of that, you got to remember that Gardner Minshew is not going down for the fight. And what I respect a lot about Gardner Minshew is that this guy is a competitor. There are a lot of quarterbacks who, when their team drafts a quarterback in the first round, they just pretty much give up hope and they see the writing on the wall. And although Gardner Minshew probably realizes that the writing is on the wall for him and that he probably doesn't have a great chance of being the starting quarterback for Jacksonville this year. He's still trying to audition for another team in case there's another team out there that wants to trade for Gardner Minshew to improve their quarterback room. And on top of that, Gardner Minshew is a competitor. This guy wants to compete. He wants to be the starter. So it's not like Gardner Minshew is just going to sit down and just allow Trevor Lawrence to just, you know, win the starting job without a fight. Like he's going to push Trevor Lawrence and that is a really good situation in that quarterback room for Jacksonville that Trevor Lawrence is actually going to be pushed. Because I don't think that Gardner Minshew is just going to sit down and allow Trevor Lawrence just to be the starting quarterback because nobody wants to be on the bench. Nobody wants to be that guy on the sideline with their earpiece in, calling the plays, 24 halfback stretch, dive left. Like, nobody wants to be that guy. So I understand why Gardner Minshew is pouring his all into this. Gardner Minshew is not going to go down for the fight. This is why Gardner Minshew is my favorite Jacksonville Jaguars player of all time. I love Gardner Minshew. This guy is not going to tap out to nobody he doesn't care if Trevor Lawrence was drafted number one overall so it's a good thing that both Minshew and Trevor are splitting first team reps because this is going to make the two quarterbacks better now Trevor Lawrence had a really impressive day and 7v7 and 11 on 11 he completed 16 out of 18 of his passes he had one bad incompletion and the other one was a drop by wide receiver Ferrell Cooper he had a great throw to tight end the hometown hero Tim Tebow Tim Tebow was making some plays today we're going to talk a little bit about him later on and also on top of that he had a nice deep touchdown to Philip Dorsett now he had a mishandled snap early, but after that, he had no more mistakes. He pretty much played a clean day of football. Now, Gardner Minshew also had a really good day. He completed 19 out of 27 of his passes. He had three drops. He had two passes that were broken up, but he had a nice deep ball to tie in James O'Shaughnessy. And on top of that, C.J. Beathard was 12 out of 13 he had one overthrow and he was lights out so all of the quarterbacks were dealing today they were dealing and even then we got to talk about tim tebow my guy tim tebow who everybody was criticizing the signing saying Harry Meyer just signed them to because, just because he's you know he played with he was his quarterback when he played for florida you know he was just trying to look out for tim tebow he didn't earn anything tim tebow had a really nice day 
And as a matter of fact, you can make the argument and say that Tim Tebow was one of the more impressive players on the field on the offensive side of football. He made some nice plays. He caught a nice deep ball from Trevor Lawrence. He had a 15-yard reception from C.J. Better. Like, Tim Tebow was making some plays out there, man. Like, I'm excited for Tim Tebow, man. Like, I want to see Tebow make the roster, man. Honestly, Tim Tebow used to be one of my favorite athletes when I was in elementary school growing up. I have all of the Tim Tebow books, man. Like, I'm rooting for Tim Tebow, man. Like, listen, I understand why everybody had their criticism about the signing and whatnot, but how could you rule against Tim Tebow, man? Like, my guy was out there hustling today, man. And it, it just puts a smile on my face, man. Because when Tim Tebow does good, man, like, it just puts a smile on my face, man. Like, I don't know, man. Like, how can you rule against Tim Tebow, man? Like, I really don't understand it, man. So, my boy Tim Tebow out there, Timmy Tebow, the hometown kid, was out there doing his thing, man. Like, my guy had a nice, deep reception off a seam route. He had a 15-yard reception. Tim Tebow was making some plays out there, man. For real. Tim Tebow was balling in the day. Now, when it comes to the defense, um... Uh, I don't think the defense performed all that well. And I think it's evident with how well all three of the quarterbacks played. Now, of course, some people are going to be like, well, JT, maybe we just have three quarterbacks on the roster who are good. And that could very well be the case. But let's be honest, the defense definitely wasn't all that great. Now, you did have a couple of key players who did not practice today. But overall, I don't really feel like the defense did all that great. And I couldn't really find a lot of information on the defensive side of the football when it came to the defensive performance overall. So I'm going to look out to see over the next couple of days if the Jaguars offense and, and if these quarterbacks continue to perform as well as they had today. Because that's one thing that a lot of people have to realize about training camp. There are going to be a lot of ups and there's going to be a lot of downs. There are going to be some days that the offense looks unstoppable and there are going to be some days that it looks like the offense can't move the ball at all and that the defense is going to be really good. So overall, the Jaguars offense balled out. Philip Dorsett was really impressive. Tim Tebow was another impressive name. Now, when it came to Travis Etienne, wasn't really that much information about him. He had like a fumble during one drill, but he ended up having a big run after it a little bit later on. You also had Carlos High who had a big run during the drill as well. So overall, the offense was clicking on all cylinders. Now, we don't really have a good assessment in terms of how well the offensive line and the defensive line performed because this was a non-contact practice and Urban Meyer and the Jacksonville Jaguars have already kind of been penalized by the NFL because their practices have kind of been considered by the NFL standards to be a little bit too physical for their liking and you can't have a physical practice right off the bat you have to wait a couple of days in the training camp until you can get in full pass and whatnot but overall I like what I've heard about the Jacksonville Jaguars offense so far man my boy Tim Tebow out there doing his thing Gardner Minshew was doing his thing Trevor Lawrence was doing his thing it was like everybody was out there doing their thing including Philip Dorsett he was really impressive as well so let me know down in the comment section down below if I've missed some more information about training camp for the Jacksonville Jaguars because there's always new information coming out every minute after training camp ends. So at the time I'm recording this video, it could be some more information that I missed. So let me know if there's some more information that you guys have found out about the Jacksonville Jaguars day one training camp session. Make sure that you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.